Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of the Not So Berry Challenge. Today we are starting out the episode at Julie's house because she has just had her baby. I am just, I guess, so excited to show you guys her baby and for Rosie to meet him. And of course, we're not able to really take babies anywhere, so we're gonna just bring a Rosie to the baby. Don't forget to leave a comment or a like if you do like the video of course and this challenge oh interesting tim's calling you know what uh, sure he's not really a jealous boyfriend you know we'll just we'll just let her talk to her ex yeah why not and perhaps he's heard the news and he is simply congratulating her you know that is an option that is a choice and it doesn't seem like tim's really looking to get back with her either i think they're happily separated it seems like he's calling just to congratulate her and he's heard the news from like her mother or her family which is just just so nice i love how everyone is just in touch he also wants to hang out which goes against what i just said <laughs> tim really i want you guys to meet her baby it is a boy and um we have called him thomas i'm not really sure what to call him let's have her come over here because i want you guys to see his cute little face oh i went with thomas a uh, bland name if you ask me I'm sorry if your name is Thomas, I just <laughs> zoom you guys in on his cute little face. Oh, look at him. I think he is a direct copy of his daddy. He has his skin tone, he has his hair color, judging by the eyebrows. And he has his eye colors because Julie has blue eyes. He has gray eyes and it looks like he has gray eyes. So yeah, he's going to be a spitting image of, I guess, his father. However, that doesn't mean that he's not going to have any of Julie's features. So I am interested to see if he's going to end up looking like, you know, Julie. After all, I hope he does. I want to put this little one back to bed. I'm gonna just do one more cuddle and I think I would love for her to give Thomas a bath before he goes back to sleep. Looks like, what's his name again? Vincenzo, which I think Vincenzo is a much more creative name. Hate me for this. Some names I just find creative and others I just find bland. Okay, this is just my <laughs> opinion. I would never call my child Tim, for example. Like, I find that such a bland name. Vincenzo just sounds like, I don't know, it just, it just has something to it. Anyway, let me just not go into too much details here before I enrage everyone with a bland name. I want to have Vincenzo come over and talk to little baby Thomas. And I love how they're matching. It is summer, almost summer. I forgot to make it summer. But yeah, it is supposed to be summer. So what I'll have you know them do is i'll give the baby to thomas so that julie can take a shower and then we are gonna go and we're gonna put thomas back in his crib and tomorrow is gonna be an exciting day because rosie is coming over and i'm super super excited for her to meet the baby like i know i know that she is not that much of a baby person i don't think she ever wants children i do think she could be like a cool auntie and i'm just really pleased and excited about this relationship and his friendship like i'm so happy that julie has this good relationship with with rosie no matter what i love that she has one true friend okay controversial right very controversial but i noticed he has a fall in love with a rosy wand and he also wants to invite her over and i'm just a bit unsure about this because does this mean that he wants to see her as like friends or does he want to see her and then fall in love with her like it seems like he like he has two rather innocent wishes or ones like he wants to uh you know gain a mechanical skill point like sure he wants to improve himself and then he wants to get a pet which is also fine like i want him to have one anyway i think it'll be fun to have a little cat not a dog because there's still this bug going on so we'll just stick to cats for now but you know what i mean julie only has ones about grilled cheese obviously because we have this lifetime wish and i hope we're gonna get through eventually but i don't think i'm gonna play much with this family unless i have to so perhaps we will never ever you know get to this lifetime wish or, or complete this lifetime wish but even so vincenzo is a family man yet he has a family sim a family orientated sim and yet he wants to fall in love with the rosie so i am really worried that there is this this i don't know this i know that they fell in love and they had you know 
everything happening within a short, you know, span. It wasn't like they knew each other for years and years before they got engaged and, you know, had this baby. But I was definitely hoping and thinking that he would be a very loyal family man. But he is like, he is worried about getting caught cheating, right? And he's worried that both Rosie and Julie are not going to be here anymore. But yet, he wants to fall in love with Rosie. I feel like what he's saying is he really wants to try and see if he can be closer to Rosie and perhaps expand their relationship. At the same time, he is also afraid that Julie is going to find out about this. He knows that what he wants and what he's doing is risky and he kind of wants to go for it and see how far he can take it. But at the same time, he doesn't want to ruin his marriage. This man is just full of sin. <laughs> he just, he is full of sin. I'm telling you, full of freaking sin. Well, let's put Thomas back in his crib. I think he has work today. Yeah, he does at 10 and he needs some more skills. So I'm going to have him practice his speech. I do want him to experiment or dive deeper into the feeling that he has, like wanting to, you know, be romantic with with Rosie but at the same time I don't know if I'm ready to like ruin his relationship and I don't think Rosie is like really looking either but look he wants to flirt like it is a, it's a He's a family sim, but yet he has so many ones of being with somebody else. I'm I'm genuinely worried that he might have second thoughts about this. He initially wanted to be with with Ro with oh my god, I said it again, didn't I? <laughs> with Julie. But now that he has a child and he's like been together with her for a few months, he's kinda like, I don't know about this. He has changed his mind. I am going to invite over Julie. I'm sorry, I still have this mod and I just haven't really wanted to take out the mod. Also, do you guys like this house? I just, I put like the bare minimum effort into decorating this. I wanted it to scream Julie and I figured sticking to like one theme, like one color was the way to do that. And I think it really does scream Julie. Like you would barely notice like Vincenzo is living here. He's just there. He's part of the decor. Invite household. No, we don't. We, we only want you. Like, excuse me. I'm sorry. We're going to skip Trevor. Trevor's not welcome here. <laughs> he really isn't welcome. So she's going to come over. So we'll have her quickly get ready. And I think we'll have Sir just go ahead and grab a plate. And I love this house. It just has so many memories of like her vacations. And though it does scream Julie, I wonder if this is like a, a foreboding thing, you know, like, oh, it's only Julie's house because of like the decor. So perhaps it's, I don't know, it's it's predetermined that Vincenzo is gonna cheat. I feel really bad, but I am going to attempt a flirt. <laughs> this man is going to, you know, we're gonna flirt, like not go full out and be like, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? He is going to, you know, give it- No, 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 no. Oh, oh, wait, wait, one sec. I want you to do this. <gasps> oh, Rosie, you little bitch. Oh my god. And I love how after he's done that, he's like, oh my god, what have I done? And he wants to learn couples counseling. Okay, you know what? Maybe their marriage is still saveable. Oh my god. Oh my god. Well, if I were still in her PJs, I, I think I'm gonna make her selectable. What I want to do is talk to baby Thomas. Let's say that Julie's calling her from the kitchen saying, Rosie, come look at the baby. He's awake now. Now she wants to have 20 different- You already had 20 different woohoos. What's, what's going I really don't know. Oh, he is adorable, Julie. And of course, Julie's gonna ask her if she wants to hold the baby, which of course she does kind of want to do, but I don't think we can give it to her, which is just unfortunate. So we'll just keep on. Um, actually, we can cuddle him, but we need Julie to put her down or put him down. Let's just say that we need to... Are you really gonna put the baby outside? Yep, that, that's exactly what's gonna happen. Aww. Oh, she would make a great mother. Oh, poor Rosie. I f oh my god, girl, you better clean this toilet. I feel bad for Julie. Let's quickly put our child um, in the chair because he's just outside being neglected. <laughs> and uh, I want Julie to come over to Rosie and to give her a hug. Yeah, just do I know what? We'll just pretend he's not there. There we go. Are you okay? I heard you throw up like five times and you've only been here like two minutes. You know, are you what I think you are? She didn't want to talk about this at all. She didn't want to make this the topic. Like she wanted to be there for Julie and to see her house and to spend time with her and see the new baby. But instead we're talking about Rosie and the potential of there being a baby. Yeah, guys, <laughs> Rosie is about to announce to Julie that she is in fact 
oh my god she threw up again she's in fact pregnant she wasn't sure but she is definitely pregnant she hasn't done a test but everything lines up and um, she's been like I said throwing up non-stop everything is just hinting at this and you know she hasn't had a period in like months you know you wanted to hide it from Julie she wanted to hide it from everyone because she didn't want anyone to know she didn't want to do with this and a part of her really hoped that this wasn't the case and even as she's like telling Julie like what's happened and how she feels she's like maybe it's not true like maybe it's you know maybe it really isn't what I think it is maybe I'm just you know I don't know maybe I'm just imagining things maybe it's just I'm just being influenced by you I don't know and Julie's like Rosie you never wanted kids and I don't think you would make this up <laughs> just for the sake of it I think you really need to go home and do a test but if you ask me like there's something different about you and it's not just the big eyes you know freaking thing on her nose that uh Julie is trying not to notice but eventually she does have to mention it. like she doesn't want to be like you're pregnant okay but hold up what about your nose <laughs> you know Rosie I um don't want to be rude but you don't look so good even though you look good you know what I mean like I can tell you have a different you have a glow about you you just seem like you could be pregnant i don't want to encourage you but to me like i have a sixth sense for this like you really do feel like you know it would be so cool like we'll have children close in age but at the same time you don't look so hot like what is this on your nose like what's happened and rosie's getting a little defensive saying you know nothing happened i just we i got an argument with trevor and he accidentally hit my nose and because of all the you know plastic surgery I've had I uh, I guess my bones were fragile and um, he ended up just I don't know kind of bruising it a little and uh, it's nothing you know it's nothing I, I just probably need to get it fixed or something but for now this should do and maybe it heals on itself like she's really not gonna go into detail and really like explain what's going on but Julie can also not pretend like she doesn't see her best friend also having what looks like the beginning or the end of a black eye but Rose is once again saying that nothing has happened and that it's just part of her nose being bruised or I wouldn't say a broken but potentially being bruised or just like I mean I guess it could be broken but still she's not gonna own up to that you know and I look how I'm just doing this little, 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 little you know I'm just gonna shamelessly have some juice because I'm really not feeling well <laughs> I just totally forgot about the baby like yep that's that's the thing of course Julie asked Rosie like does Trevor know and of course she said no he doesn't she isn't really sure if she should tell him. Julie did encourage Rosie to tell him but she also said that if she doesn't want to or doesn't know who the dad is or who the father there is she's willing to help her out and together they can come up with a way to take care of this and Rosie was at first a little bit like what makes you think I don't know who the father is and then you know she eventually was like yeah I guess I don't really know who the father is like I've been with a lot of men lately and Julie's like you know what Rosie there's no shame sometimes these things happen and I know that you didn't necessarily want a baby but I'm really happy and excited for you I think this could be just what you needed sometimes children are a blessing in disguise like sometimes you just don't know what you need or you don't realize you know what you're missing until you're actually faced with such a thing you know whatever you decide on it's entirely your decision but I do want you to give it a chance I know that it might not feel like it right now but what you really need to do is go home take a test make sure and then really think about it don't just say no because you think that you'll be you know a bad mother because I know you I know how you've always considered yourself to be the person that is just not able to take care of themselves but I think you know you'll be great you'll do great you're a great and wonderful person but of course Rosie isn't I mean she's not necessarily dismissive but she doesn't really have a want for this child she hopes that it isn't like she's you know five months pregnant that she just doesn't show because that would be the worst so she does hope that it's still rather relatively early or either that or she's having just some kind of illness that you know just happens to have all the same symptoms either way julie is very very supportive and like i said she's willing to lie with rosie she's willing to help her best friend and to make it seem like even if trevor's not the father like he is the father you know what i mean like even if if it's going to help her relationship she's like i'm down for this if you don't know who it is it might be best to just go with a lie and if that keeps the family together but rosie as much as she would love to you know let's just say pick somebody as the father in her head in her heart she really doesn't want Trevor to be the father and she really doesn't want to raise a baby with Trevor because she knows that he will never be the father that a child need like he's just not a person who could 
you know, who could do that? And at the same time, I don't think that anybody she knows could be that. She's just thinking about it, right? Like, okay, who could, could be my, my baby's father? Like, okay, Trevor? Okay, well, that would be crazy. I'm just a very unpractical guy. Same thing, like, is he mature enough to raise a child? And what if it's one of those 20 guys? Like, she's been with so many guys. We've woohooed with almost all 20 of them. It could be anybody's baby at this point. And guys, I did double check. <laughs> of course, I did double check. So I know my facts, but I'm not going to tell you who it is who the father is, okay? I'm gonna leave that up for a surprise. Maybe I'll even leave it up to like when the baby's born. I'll just show you guys like his face and then you guys can, or his of her. I don't know if it's a girl or a boy, but I'm just <laughs> going to like show you the baby and be like, okay, who did you not make lunch? For did you only make lunch for yourself? Julie, that is very... <laughs> god i'm very disappointed in julie probably like not show you you know who the father is and then you guys can like guess based on <laughs> the appearance of the child but what i can tell you at this point is that um <laughs> yeah she's definitely pregnant i checked and it's only one baby so we don't have to you know figure out like who and what and whatever like <laughs> we know for sure it's only one so that is just absolutely great anyway i think it's about time for rosa to go back home but it's been really 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 freaking nice coming here and seely seeing her baby she just feels uncomfortable with the way that she looked but then she promised she would come at the baby and like she just come at the baby like come see the baby <laughs> girl me too me too one sandwich and <laughs> it would be wrong not to show up so even though she didn't feel her best she didn't look her best she still wanted to be there for her best friend her heart's friend person that's closest to her like a sister we want to thank her for everything i know like your son is important but right now i think i'm more important so put the baby down and give me a hug <laughs> okay we'll just do an air hug as yes, you do it then hello excuse me i'm supposed are you just gonna flirt in front of me okay well i'm just gonna go home then because this is just awkward rosie has come home and she's getting herself some food and as per usual trevor is just in the bathroom you know doing his business in his pajamas just living the best life he doesn't really get dressed he just tends to stink i guess and <laughs> just not do anything if he ends up being the father i am not sure how to feel about this because can you see this guy like taking care of anyone or anything like no anyway i want to introduce you guys to the cats before we get back into the storyline so i got two new cats i called them precious and sweets and this is sweets let me zoom in on this little little guy oh he looks so cute it reminds me of a fox i love his little boots and his it's just it's just a cute face i love it trevor's actually playing with precious like trevor really does love cat you know the one thing he loves more no wait hold up the one thing he loves second to you know loving himself the man <laughs> the, the most is cats like he truly loves loves cats and um, he doesn't really take care of them he just plays with them but he 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 does actually care for cats this is precious and well as you can see she's a very precious rosie's really happy about the cats and i think they're getting along which i'm really happy about i also made sure to make these siblings just because i didn't accidentally want them to have kittens with each other there's of course no rest for the way <laughs> so we're gonna have her clean up everything while she's doing this i could just imagine her coming home and trying to let everything just kind of like sink in like okay what if i'm actually pregnant do i tell trevor before do i tell him after i i, I probably should tell him like after i've taken a test like what if it turns out to be false and then this guy thinks he's becoming a dad just the thought of that kind of like freaks her out you are beautiful but you are a monster oh my god look at him oh he's so cute like i want to just oh i just want to grab him he's so chonky look at him he's just so chonky oh my god i love him so much i love him so much but he's also so beautiful but i wanted there to be a bit of variety so i made him a little skinnier like he's a little less chonky he does have a fat ass and a fat tail but he's overall just a little um, a little less chonky anyway i'm gonna have her brush her teeth she had a nice day with julie she didn't want her memory to be clouded with like trevor and so much of her day is already dedicated to dealing with trevor are you pooping oh my god he pooped on the floor you a little there is a litter box right there and you poop on the floor, sir. I put shoes in front of the litter box and then I blamed it on my cat. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot you guys can't um, step over the slippers to get to the litter box. Okay, fair enough. He's not a bad boy or a bad girl. I don't, don't really know his gender. He's just, they didn't poop on the floor because he wanted to. It wasn't necessary. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> I'll give you, I'll give it at this time. <gasps> oh my God. Oh my God. We're being robbed. Oh my god, 
being robbed. What are the odds? Trevor's like, I'm just gonna watch some TV. <laughs> oh my, wait, hair butt, wait, what? No, he escaped. Did he steal anything? Like, ma'am, <laughs> are you okay? I just got defeated by the <laughs> by the burglar. Uh, the burglar slapped me. Beaten by a burglar? No, I'll never get the promotion. Oh, I don't have any eyebrows. You know, if you had eyebrows, you probably would have won. So even though it's rather early, I think he is going to wake up, but we're gonna have him use the bathroom. That's pretty much the most he'll do. He maybe, maybe does he wash his hands? I don't think he looks like a guy that washes his hands. He's not gonna make breakfast because he really doesn't know how to make breakfast. So he's gonna wait for Rosie to do it. Since Rosie doesn't feel that well, I am having a slow morning. Get ready. She wants to hike. She's a romantic sim, but the ones for romance are just so little lately. I definitely feel like she's slowly and gradually transforming into a different person, <laughs> like less of a romantic. Like, I told you guys, she's just less and less focused on romance and love and it's true. She wants to go ice skating. She wants to infl oh God, she really wants Trevor to clean because she's tired. She also wants to play. Oh my God, she used to love swimming. I would love for her to eventually have her own pool. Oh my God. I would love for her to have a different house eventually, like her dream house and have a pool. But for now, we're like stuck here. You know, this is not a dream house. This is just a house. We're very close to, you know, showing. So I made sure to like cut that out because I didn't want you guys to see the father because it automatically tells you but doesn't tell me the gender it just tells me like it's one baby but let's just say she just did the test she discovered it like late right like it's not like she you know was very quick with it she's been feeling sick for like a few few good months so let's say she's about should we do like about four four months that's about like what 16 weeks because i feel like at 16 weeks we would be able to tell in like the next episode if we wanted like if it's you know a boy or a girl would make sense why she would be showing soon at the same time it also makes sense why she would eventually decide not to get rid of the baby because if it was up to rosie like she would definitely get rid of the baby like we all know this so we need kind of a reason to not get rid of the baby like we do we really need to we really do need that okay like, <laughs> you know what i mean like we really need that. so i'm really hungry so let's serve some pancakes i'm really tired of these grilled cheese sandwiches like we've ate like 50 at julie's house it made her feel so good it really lifted her spirits oh she's like okay you know what if i have to confess to trevor that i'm pregnant if i have to somehow convince him it's also his child <gasps> then oh a pink one it's so cute you're an autumn okay i think that that makes sense but if she has to convince trevor that she's pregnant then i think uh, we um we need to first feed him so he doesn't turn into an absolute monster but we're gonna cook these pancakes trevor's just playing games that's what he does this is the big moment why is he so grumpy oh my god maybe this is not a good moment trevor I don't really know how to say this, but I'm pregnant. And oh, this is not the, oh my rim. This is not the time. Oh no, we're having a to this just looks like we're having a toast because our dog is dead. Like no, yo, c go here. You know what? Screw Trevor. Like I'm so sorry, Leroy. He looks oh, oh my god, I can't handle this. Like I'm never gonna see Leroy again. Oh now she oh now you care like okay he died let's take out the trash i'm so sorry rosie this is just not the time this is just the worst day ever like we're having to not only discover that we're pregnant our pet died and trevor's grumpy and we're just overwhelmed <laughs> like we don't want to be pregnant we're just like I'm pregnant and like freaking for like four months. She doesn't know what to do because if it was like I said like four, did I ever finish that thought that I had <laughs> trying to you know speak but I didn't it didn't come out. But um yeah okay so our pad randomly died okay um I'm just gonna quickly get rid of these dog toys because we won't be needing those anymore. What if he does it on purpose? Like what if he is trying to make her feel bad on purpose? Like Rosie went to the doctor right to get this nose checked out and then she comes back home looking like this. Like, Rosie you're exaggerating right? Why did you? Why why, why do you have to exaggerate like this? Why do you have to make me feel bad? You look like you have went through hell. Like I knocked the life out of you, which I didn't. And Rose is just like, Trevor, I'm really, really sorry. I didn't, I didn't mean that. My nose was hurting and it wasn't getting any better. So I just wanted to get it checked out. It's nothing serious. I just need to keep this on for a few days. Just, you know, 
for things to improve faster. I'm, I'm sorry I made you worry like that. Rosie, you really need to cover that black eye because you just can't be looking like this. Why? Because he wants Rosie to look beautiful for him. He wants her to look desirable. And it's like, you know, you've really gotten like a bit chunky lately. I feel like you really need to lose weight. You still look pretty to me, Rosie, but I feel like you really let yourself go. Please just put some more makeup on, okay? I can't have you going out like this. You you put me to shame. You know, stop exaggerating to make me feel bad. That That's all I'm asking from you. It's Trevor, I'm sorry. I, you're right. I shouldn't have gone to the doctor without you or without telling you and I should have covered up better. But I, I really need to talk to you. I really do need to talk to you. Like, this is very important. And he doesn't really seem like he wants to listen. But she's like, it's really important, Trevor. And she's like, okay. Like, there's no other way to say this, but... I am. I am pregnant. Ever just laughs for a second and Rosie's like, no, no, I, I'm, I'm serious. Like, I am, I'm dead serious. I am pregnant. And at first she's not really sure because Trevor's just kind of looking at her like she's joking, but because he's not taking her serious, Rosie's just kind of like, and like, be serious, you know, like he's a child. You know how he is. He can't ever be serious. You feel like he's never grown up. So Rosie does get a little annoyed as you guys can see. So she's gonna be like, Trevor, I'm not kidding. I am pregnant. You're going to be a dad. She felt like perhaps, you know, putting those words out there like you, you Trevor, are going to be a dad would be more impactful. And he seems doubtful for a second until he says, oh. But as immature as he is, he says, okay, that's it. And Rose is like, yeah, that's it. It's like, can you please clean up the house? It's a freaking mess. And I'm hungry, so could you also make me a snack? And when you're done with that, could you also make me a drink? My TV program is starting soon. It wasn't exactly the response that Rosie expected, but at the same time, what did she expect? The guy is very immature. She's like, it didn't necessarily go bad because he didn't get mad at me. But that didn't go well because he didn't say like, oh, we're gonna do this or I'm gonna support you or, you know, he didn't even question whether or not it was his. He was just like, oh. And then he just didn't really care and he wanted to be catered to like he always wants to. So it's not something she does very often, but she is going to call somebody because she feels like this is one decision she just cannot make by herself and... As much as she values Julie's opinion and as much as this is something that she needs to decide on her own because as she expected, Trevor's not mature enough to handle such a topic and maybe he's in denial, maybe he's trying to like pretend it's not really, like maybe he just thinks it's not actually happening, like she's just making this up, like maybe he really does believe like she's making a joke. I really don't know Trevor, he's just such a, a weird guy. I love how he comes to the kitchen, he's like, Rosie, where's my snack? Like I'm... Like, I'm hungry. She's like, Trevor, I'll bring you a snack in just a second. I just, I just need to, you just sit for a second and have my own breakfast. It's reluctant, but he was planning on taking a quick bath before, uh, you know, going to watch his sports anyway. So I guess that works out. He's like, okay, but as long as you're done when I get out of the bath. Before that, while he's in the bath, she is gonna go and call up her mother. You guys would be like, what? Why would she, you know, ask her mother for advice but you know what no don't go there you i know it's a bit of a surprise because it doesn't necessarily like it, it wouldn't seem like rosie would really want her mother's opinion about this but it is a very valuable opinion is if there is somebody that's going to help her make this big decision it's going to be her mother because her mother went through the same exact thing she had an unwanted pregnancy and Rose is going through the same thing and she just needs to have somebody on her side, somebody to tell her what to do. And I don't really remember who Pepper is. I mean, I don't I know who Pepper is. I'm just saying I don't remember which one. of Oh, this is Pepper, of course. I'm not going to invite her over. I'm just going to talk. So she's going to call up her mother and just straight up say, hey, mom, I'm pregnant. And she is so supportive. The first thing that she says or asks is if she's okay, if she needs anything. And also, you know, if she knows who the father is. Like, it's not necessarily like she's like, how are you? <laughs> Who's the father? But, you know, they're talking for a good hour. And in that hour, while Trevor's in the bath, she is, you know, asking a bunch of questions and just trying to make sure that, you know, our daughter's all right. And just trying to, you know, get an like get a feeling for the situation like does she know who the father is what does she want to do and you know rosie does end up okay that snack came in just at the right time but rosie did end up you know 
getting some good advice from her mother and Pepper basically said to her, hey, do you know how far along you are? And, you know, Rosie said that she was about like, you know, four months according to the test that she did, but she doesn't really know for sure unless she goes to the doctor. And uh, Pepper says that it might be a good idea for her to go see a doctor. And if she doesn't want to go alone, she can go with her and you can figure out, you know, how far along she is and how many babies we're talking about and what we're talking about, you know, like, what kind of situation we're in is everything healthy is this something that needs to be continued do we need to proceed with the pregnancy like is there something you never, you never know it, and i love how after she got a snack for trevor he fell asleep outside so she's like oh, you know what i'm gonna eat this pizza because i'm like really hungry oh, she's so tired and all she's been doing is taking care of trevor's needs but at least we got the pizza we put the tv well we don't put the tv but i mean let's just pretend we put the tv on the right channel as well because like why not rosie ended up expressing her concern saying that she doesn't really know who the father is but that she told Trevor that he was the father because she felt like since they were in a kind of you know in a relationship even if it was an open one it would be the best choice because she has promised herself to lie and you know be more committed to him because in the last episode you guys heard me say that she felt bad and I feel like she's really been feeling crap about her decisions you know she never really gave him much attention in the open relationship and she wanted to make up for that and really try to stay committed to him for a while but she hasn't really done that yet and since you know she stopped going out with so many people she has tried to really give the guy a chance so she's been trying to really be in a I guess a normal relationship that's just one-on-one -on -one without any outside sources and it's going all right like she's not having troubles staying committed to him because she doesn't really feel like you know going out with other people and whether that's because of the pregnancy or just in general like a shift in her but just how Trevor is is just making things really difficult for herself and now that she's pregnant like she told her mother like I am in this position like I am pregnant now and you know my my child is is going to have to grow up thinking that Trevor is the dad and there's no way I can't because we're in a relationship and like if I say that it's not his then I technically cheated which I don't know if I have maybe you know it all happened so fast and it's also confusing and chaotic but her mother basically said like you know sometimes it's also all right to not know you know things and to find them out at your own pace and yeah there's a baby involved but you don't have to have everything like right this second like she has a few more months to think about this and come with a come up with a plan and her mother's going to be there for her julie's going to be there for her and even if she's not really sure about trevor stepping up as long as she steps up and take care of the baby the rest will follow like the rest will just you know what I mean? Like, things will fall into place. So that really helped her, like, a lot. Like, she feels a lot... Why is there a chair outside? <laughs> it's really helped her. Like, I was looking for this chair, so I bought another one, but it's just, like, right there. just floating in... The I think that's, like, one of the things that has really helped her, you know, calm down, just knowing that, you know what, maybe she just need to have all the answers. And in a way, like, I would be concerned as well. The way that Trevor is, I just love looking at all the cats. It's, yes, it's good to think about, like, what you're doing and, you know, him potentially being a father. Like, do you want this guy to be the father? An abrupt ending, but I run out of time today. So I am going to end this video here. Thank you all so much for watching. And we'll continue in the next episode. Bye.